the way that Martinelli celebrated his goal and it's rattled everyone. Yeah, love that. Yeah, um, the one thing I will say, we were shocking. Yeah, and barring that long range shot from Jorginho, you can sit there and cover your face all you like. You probably didn't even watch the game. Well, yeah. I, watch every, I watch every game. <laughs> we're, but you're telling me we were good. You're telling me we were really fantastic to watch and it was a great performance and like whatever. No, it weren't, Terry. Let's not let's not chat rubbish here. For 70 minutes of that football match, we were shocking. Absolutely shocking. When we went to three at the back and put Sinchenko in midfield, yeah, then we started controlling the game a lot more. Yeah, Aaron Ramsdale pulled off an unbelievable save to keep us in the game. Five, six minutes, ten minutes later, whatever it was, Jorginho has a shot, which was off target, by the way, because I've seen a lot of Arsenal fans go, see, Jorginho, your, your apologies better be as loud as your disrespect. Shut up. He dropped a five out of ten. No, he was. He a, dropped he a five out of ten. He pulled out. He pulled out. He broke. He okay, broke. Terry. So you let me get all let the stats let me, up. Let me, let me without respond. the ball. I don't, I don't, but you know, we're not doing we're not doing stats because you once said on this show that stats. No, don't I've mean got anything. eyes, but the stats back my eye test. Oh, on this occasion they do. So, you the first thing you said I agree with. You were not sensational for the whole game. However, at the same time, you know as well as I do in the circumstances of that game, after yeah. three games without a win, winning the match was the most important thing to do, and Arsenal delivered. I think Jorginho had a brilliant game in the middle. He was breaking lines throughout the course of the game. It was other people, the Enketias of this world and Odegaards, that were missing chances and opportunities. It wasn't him, in my opinion. I think you did brilliant. I didn't. I don't think you performed brilliantly for ninety minutes, but I think you did fantastically to win the game the way you did to come from behind. And I think the confidence that's going to give you is going to mm. send you back on now for another run. So I totally if agree. I, if I was an Arsenal fan, that result. Yes, you'd have loved to have dominated for 80, 90 minutes, one 3 nil easily. But I believe you need you almost needed a performance like that, something to come from behind to show that you, you're you not down and out and beaten. The way you did it is probably more worthwhile than that game against Villa being a landslide whitewash in your direction. I think you needed that to enable you to perform moving forward. I think when you play Leicester next, I think you're going to mm. absolutely destroy them but that will be born out of the confidence. And what helped you, not helped you, but what will add to that confidence is that you winning the way you did, in my opinion, is what, is what shook City for their game. And then they See, went I think out. That as well, but people don't hear me say that because that doesn't suit their narrative, does it? Lee Gunners. No, I, 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 I think I you, you, you guys scare Man City. Now, you, you, they, <laughs> but they, you do. You, you put the willies up them. And listen, when they beat you on the Wednesday, they deserve to win. But people have got to remember, two of their goals came from almost unforced errors they would yes okay. your players were under pressure but they weren't under unsurmountable pressure tommy asu and gabriel both just made ridiculously bad mistakes that led to two of their goals outside of that i don't know if they would have beaten can you i just stop you right there on the mistakes part can i just stop you on the mistakes part how yeah. many goals are scored in football around the world that are not coming off of the back of a mistake how many because you could take a 30 yard mm. uh, um, you could take a 30 yard slappage top bins postage stamp but you could then argue, well, that was an individual error because the centre back should have come out and closed it down a bit more. Yeah, you Every can do that. Year, and I've seen this stupid narrative all week. No, I, I understand. Oh, it was I understand. Lee, Lee, and I, I understand that. I understand that. But oh. those, these were two really poorly hmm. positioned passes that led to, especially KDBs. Um, from Tommy Asus, that was a, a a full blown error that led to the goal. Now it was under pressure because he was being he, he was being put under. But you'll see this weekend, every fullback in the league will play that pass back to their goalkeeper three or four times in a match, and you may not see a single mistake. Every now and then, it just goes a little bit wrong. I don't think City in that game against you were light years ahead of you. Fantastic, and I looked at it at the end of the game and thought Arsenal have made a mistake here, not just through losing, but they've almost lost the psychological edge against City. But then against Villa, the way you came back and won, the willies you put up them going into their game, and the fact they dropped points from a winning position against Forest, you've regained that psychological edge. And that's what the, the, the back half of the season is. Psychological. No, I, I, I agree. Psychological. I totally agree. But at the same time, I disagree about the Man City game. We had one shot on target. It was a penalty. Yeah, you, you, missed, you missed opportunities in it. But the, the point I'm making is that I, your so mistakes... What, what, sorry, say that again? You said we missed opportunities and they weren't like years better than us. Well, we, so did Villa. We weren't like years better than Villa. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about two separate games. Yeah, but then you're, my points are exactly the same for both. We weren't miles worse than Man City, individual errors. Yeah. 
Well, that goes again in the Aston Villa game, doesn't it? From the City game to the Villa game, individual errors. Yeah, what, Aston what, Villa what, were not what, miles what, worse than Arsenal what, on the what, day, what, but individual what, errors cost yeah. them. No, I understand yeah? that. The goalkeeper going up for a corner when the goal when the manager told him not to. Yeah, right, that's but, now an on, individual on, what's error, that got isn't to, it? Hang on, I get that, but what's that got to do with my point? Because the point is, you said Man City weren't a million miles better than us. Well, we weren't a million miles better than Aston Villa. Yeah, but you're not Aston in a title. Villa lost the game. Not, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, Lee, Lee, Lee. But you're not in a title race with Aston Villa, going head to head to who goes top of the league. And Which you makes the Man what... City result worse then, doesn't it? Which yeah, is why people were having meltdowns, Terry. Lee, yes. Yeah, you're agreeing with me, but you're trying to disagree in the agreement. Mm-hmm. You losing to them the way you did, if they would have come to the Emirates and battered you off the park in every element, ripped you limb from limb, then you'd go, wow, we were really outclassed. But because you you lost through making some mistakes, it, it would have hurt a lot more. And you gave away your psychological edge. What you then deserve praise for is regaining it in the next game. I that, That's all I've said. Yeah, and I agreed with everything you said at the beginning. Then you're saying, yeah, but individual errors. Terry, individual errors are the reason most goals are scored, mate. Yeah, exactly. But if you've got two teams that are fairly even and you lose on an individual error, that's not a battering. And what I'm saying about regaining your psychological edge is that you weren't completely outclassed and that can help you. Yeah, and I agree with that. I agreed with that five minutes ago. You're, you're sitting there saying that, oh, yeah, all these people that are having... You were basically saying all these people that are having a meltdown against Man City, yeah, it shouldn't have been doing it because that it was so close, the game, and it was just individual no, mistakes that cost that's, Arsenal. That's and they won saying. well, and now that's put the psychological dent in Man City. Yes, that is true to a certain degree. That's but the not people, what the people what I were. Said. That's, that's not what, what you said that's, then, that's, because that's, that's what you said that's, five minutes ago. Well, it's not. I didn't say anything. You're saying that's what I meant. That isn't what I meant by it. What I meant about the City game is that I felt it was a fairly close game outside of those errors. I don't think yeah. City were light years better than you. That's all I said. There was no further same, point. Same against Villa then, wasn't it? Because Villa weren't light years worse than us. I we weren't light years better I than us. I them. didn't say. <laughs> I didn't say. Sorry, you but I, I, we... I, I, I don't get. Listen, Lee. Sorry, I need to calm this down a minute. I don't understand your point. I didn't say. <laughs> I didn't say you were light years better than Villa. I just, I'm not talking about that. I'm just saying in the, it was great. I, my, and my point was, it was great that you've reaffirmed your position on top yeah. and your, in my opinion, mental superiority over them because you lost it in the game against City in such a narrow way. It's important to regain it quickly. And you did. I'm not stating that you should be overly praised for your performance against Villa because it was quite a close game. 4-2 as a scoreline actually flattered Arsenal a little bit because if you look back through the history books you'll go oh you battered them you didn't but it was an important victory that's all I stated that was it yeah and that's and I agreed with you at the beginning but the way you were making that sound was oh my god it was such a close game that man no it weren't that was not a close game <laughs> that was not a close game that Arsenal Man City game go and have a look go and have a look at that game again watch the whole 90 minutes and you tell me that game was close I don't think I listen I think City I don't think it was that Free-flowing Man City is what what happened. They deliberately tried to slow the game down in the first minute, in the first twenty minutes of the game. Their goalkeeper got booked. What's your point? What's your point to this? I don't understand the point of this conversation. Because you're sitting, you you sat there and said, "Yeah, but individual errors." Yeah, well, individual errors, Terry, is exactly why most games are won and lost. Yeah, again, individual errors that weren't really forced. And for me, if someone, if, if you've got a team that's passing it around you, and a defender is dragged out of his position because of the great play. I don't see that as an individual error. That is a forced error through great play. The way you gave balls away in that game on the edge of your own box were like catastrophic, uncharacteristic, especially for Tomiyasu, mistakes that your team has barely made for a long time. Every game... No, no, we, have bad, we, have, no we, have made, we have made mistakes. Not so, so big as that one, but we have made mistakes in every single game. Go back to the Aston Villa game at the weekend. Zinchenko who can't, listen, something needs to change there and people start crying, I couldn't care less. Yeah, the fact that that guy comes inverted every single time instead of overlapping, isolates our left back. Yeah, and why is it every team since since we've played Man United have been going down that side? Why? Because he's playing everywhere I, but left back. Let me finish. Sorry, sorry, finish. go on. Right? People have been calling out Martinelli and rightly so because his performance has been poor. But you have to take into account that he ain't got anyone helping him on that left side. He's literally isolated. He then gets dropped and everyone's going, yeah, Trossard's playing, Trossard's playing. What did Trossard do against Villa? Nothing. Why? Because the system we play Mate, I, inverts I, the left back. I, I get and, all of it. I, I get so all of this. At the same I, time. I, I, none of that I disagree with. 
No, I know. We're not disagreeing. I'm just saying. At the same time, if you go and have a look at their first goal, Ollie Watkins' goal, yeah, would you say that that was an unforced error from Zinchenko? Because he got the ball nicked off of him. The ball goes straight over the top. Ollie Watkins was that... What was he doing? Because he shouldn't be yeah, beating some people like that. And he shouldn't yes. be beating our goal, goalkeeper at near post like that. Yeah, I mean, look, you could... Look, it's poor defending. It, de it depends on what way around you want to put it. Um... In terms of this, again, some people see that as a. I think Saliba is poor defending. He didn't get close enough. No, but go you, back to the Zinchenko. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to answer. I'm going to answer. I'm going to answer. Let me finish. Zinchenko for me was a mistake. I would I would say as an error. I feel like he kind of he didn't see what was around him. His touch was a bit too heavy. and He lost the ball. Um, on the City game, just quickly, like this is why I don't think it was a game that was too different. You had sixty odd percent of the ball that game. You had 10 yeah. shots to their nine. Now, I get you'll say, but we only had one on target. That's the lack mm. of poor finish. That's poor finishing. But you had the chances in that game. That's why, for me, if... That's why when I looked at that game being 3-1 to City, the way you lost it, it should have been even more disappointing in the sense of it wasn't like you were outclassed and you could say, do you know what? They're just a better team than no, us. No, but we was outclassed. I feel on the day... <laughs> no, I, I don't think you did. I think on the day... Mentally, you just weren't up for the fight. Is 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 the point I was trying to allude to? Okay, so even that's that makes it even worse. Then we weren't mentally up for no, a fight with the you, champions you, when we're yeah. trying to go clear of them. You just said we weren't mentally up for the fight. You just said that, not me. I said it makes I, it worse. I, I, then. Know, I know, but and maybe it does make it worse. I'm just simply stating. Uh, sometimes you disagree with me on things that we agree on. I said, no, you just said it makes no, it, you know, no. they weren't mentally up for the fight. Yes. Your words, not and, mine. And then you said, yeah. And then you said, yes, it's even worse than I said, yes, that it, it should be more disappointing when you're fairly even with a team like City at home and it's little mistakes that cost you and a lack of clinical edge at the other end. That's more frustrating than if City turned up and were just outright better than you because then it's not an ex there's no excuse. It's just, oh, they're better than us. That's why the return against Villa was so important, is what I was saying. Moving on from that, um, <laughs> someone here says, Terry, please pull up the XG versus Villa and City. I don't have XG available here, but yeah, it was fairly similar, <laughs> I think. Uh, second half, Arsenal were brilliant. First half was shambolic. Odegaard's uh, most chances created in a game for Arsenal since Ozil in 2016-17. Yay, Virginia, let's give him the title for that, a trophy. Woohoo. Most chances uh, created. Arsenal, chances created Arsenal, is one of the worst stats through. ever. Let me get through these. Sorry, bro. Uh, Arsenal, a minute ago, you said, Let, get the stats up for how bad you're, Genio. No, 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 that's yeah, what I said. The, the, the stats for your second half against Villa were backed up by the eye test because you were creating opportunities and And chances. I said from 70 minutes on, and when we put Zinchenko in midfield and went to a back three, we dominated the game. Did I not say that? Yeah, but you can't, oh, you discount, but you can't discount stats one minute and then agree with them the next. They, they were an important part. No, 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 no Terry, Terry. I discount stats. Yeah, I use my eyes, but you want to use stats all the time to prove your argument's right. No. And then when I prove it's wrong, you go, yeah, but with the dude, we had 63% possession you, and you what? Ju you just said you just said the same you just said the same thing as me. When the stats match your eye test, you use them. So if I believe I saw you create chances and then I can show you Sorry, stats. I don't need to, to use it. the stats to prove what you did want work. to you but you did want to with Jorginho. The because first thing you said is get the stats up. Sorry, sorry. Every time I come on here and we have a debate over a player or an, an individual or a couple of individuals or a single match, you start tapping away on the computer and bringing up stats, which is why I thought, you know what, before he starts doing that, oh, let me use me. it. Yeah. And in that particular game against Aston Villa, I didn't see any Jorginho stats until yesterday. And go and have a look at his stats without the ball and then look at his stats with the ball. Without the ball, the guy is an absolute liability. But I already knew that anyway, because I watched the game. With mm -hmm. the ball, yes, he can pass the ball. Well, I'd expect him to. He's on 100 grand a week. <laughs> like, come on. Yeah, his shot, by the way, I'm just going to say this. His shot, by the way, was off target. Off target. If it had gone straight in the top corner, it probably would have been disallowed anyway. Because there was two players in the eye line of the goalkeeper. Yeah, we were very, 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 very lucky. You can laugh all you like. We were very, very lucky that we won that football match. And I agree with what you said, because I've said it all week since that game and on the day, the psychological boost that will do for us. Man City players must have been sat in the dressing room, putting on their socks, shin pads and kits, thinking, lovely, they've dropped two points. Yeah, and then as soon as Pep's finished his team talk, oh, they won 4-2. Head gone, which is probably why Haaland's ball entered Spanish airspace last night and landed at Malaga Airport. Do you know what I'm saying? How are you missing that? How is Foden falling over five yards out? All the people in the chat that want to cry, cry all you like, mate. I genuinely don't care. Oh, you're a clown. Well, I've been called worse. 
Thanks. I get that.